It's here, it's time. We are doing a Cartier unboxing and you already know what's in this box. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a really, really exciting unboxing. So from the title, I'm sure you would have guessed that we are doing a Cartier unboxing. And if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Reza. I would suggest that you watch this video of mine because you would just think that I'm crazy if you haven't seen that video. But yes, if you're a seasoned subscriber, it's here, it's time. We are doing a Cartier unboxing and you already know what's in this box, but I cannot wait to unbox it for you. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys a little story time of how I picked up this watch because as some of you might know, I mentioned that I wanted to purchase this watch in Paris and Obviously, I'm not in Paris, I'm still back at home, and it's not my birthday yet, so this is an early 30th birthday gift for myself. And also, just a little bit about the watch and why I decided to get it. We'll be talking about the price and how I budgeted and saved up for this watch and all of the things, so please stick around. So when I purchased this watch, it actually came in this white bag, and it's super discreet. There's like no logos on it, but inside of that white bag came this Cartier bag here, and it's just so luxurious, and I am obsessed with their branding and history. And then also, of course, it comes with a receipt, so this is how the receipt comes and inside is my receipt and it also comes with a travel pouch so this is just a red pouch and inside is a soft microfiber lining and Cartier on here and inside is a white little pouch so when you're traveling you can keep your watch in here to keep it secure this is what the watch comes in. So it comes in this like beautiful wine colored box and in the front it says Cartier. Inside is another box. So this actually folds down and the box can just slide out. And the box has gold detailing and it's a very sturdy and like well-made box. And then there's a button here that you can just press to reveal. My Cartier Tank Louis watch. Oh my God, it's so perfect. It's literally everything I've ever wanted in a watch. Let me take it out and show you guys a closer look. Actually, before I do that, I just wanted to show you that this actually comes out. You can pull these tabs out here. And inside is the authenticity card. I won't show you the serial number, but I will pop up the reference here for you. And that's it. Okay, let's set that aside. That's so satisfying. Okay, getting into the watch. So it comes with this like black pillow and the watch also comes with a protective casing on it. And if we take this off, it is 18 karat yellow gold with a blue sapphire on the side. It is absolutely stunning. And I got it in the brown alligator strap. I think the gold and the brown really complement each other. And the reason why I wanted to go with this specific model is because I think that the gold version complements my skin tone a lot better than the silver. I mean, of course, the silver is a lot more cost effective and you kind of like get the same thing. But I think that this is going to be a watch that I wear for the rest of my life and it needed to be something that I actually really love so i decided to wait on it and save up a little bit more money to get the watch that i really really wanted so yeah this is what the watch looks like it is the cartier tank louis watch it is the most iconic watch from cartier i want to say it's been with the brand for over a hundred years this specific model and they've created different versions of it. As I mentioned, there is a steel version, which is a little bit cheaper. And this watch was named after Louis Cartier, who really put the Cartier brand on the map. So let's put it on, and then I'll tell you guys 
how I got it, how much it was, and why I decided to get it here in Vancouver, Canada, instead of Paris. I'm just taking off the watch I'm currently wearing. So this watch that I'm wearing actually is a dupe of the Cartier Tank Louis, and it is by Seiko. It is about, I want to say $175, and I purchased this last year a couple months ago because I knew that I really wanted the Cartier Tank Louis but I just didn't have the money to purchase it at that time and I wanted to like test drive the style so I wanted to get a dupe version or like a very similar version just to see if I really really want it so I can put them side by side so you can kind of see. I think one of the main differences is that the Tank Louis is slightly bigger and the roman numerals are also thicker as you can see the seiko really modeled this version to the tank but no one can beat the original so i'm really glad that i have the cartier tank in my collection and i'm still going to keep this watch of course but i know that this will be my new everyday watch i'm not over the watch like i'm obsessed you guys and if you've been a subscriber of mine, you know, you know. So let's put this on. The alligator strap is still quite stiff. Um, my essay told me that it will definitely soften up with wear. And she also said that my bracelet, which is a Figaro chain, might scratch it. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep wearing that chain on this arm but it just looks like that for now i think it's so classic and timeless like you cannot go wrong and the other thing that my essay mentioned is that i can purchase a separate strap color i think that is so fun because it really gives the watch a different look i was eyeing either of of course the black but also maybe like a green alligator strap could look so cool but for now, I think I'm just gonna enjoy the beautiful brown alligator strap. Okay, so let's talk about how I purchased this and when and why I purchased it here instead of Paris. So I purchased this watch on April 17th, which is a Monday. I actually did not plan on purchasing this watch then. I had all intentions of purchasing this watch in Paris. I'm going to Paris on May 24th, and I know that it is a little bit cheaper to purchase in Paris, but I was kind of doing the math and it ended up being about the same price if I had purchased it there versus here versus the States. So I had that in mind, and then I was downtown Vancouver, and I saw that the Cartier store was there, and I had some time to kill, so I thought, why not? Let me see if I can get an appointment or get an essay to help me out. I just wanted to try it on. That was like my whole goal was to try it on again, just to make sure that this is the watch that I really, really wanted. So I've walked into that Cartier boutique a few times and typically you do need an appointment because they're just so busy and there's not enough um, sales associates that can help you. So I didn't really have high hopes, but I walked in and they weren't that busy. There was someone who was there who can immediately help me and she asked what I was looking for. So I told her I wanted to see the Cartier Tank Louis and I also wanted to see the Panther watch. So if you are into watches at all, you would know that the Panther watch is really trendy right now, especially the gold color or the dual tone one. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that this is the watch that I wanted and I wanted to compare it to something else. I definitely knew that I didn't want the silver version because I had tried on this watch in the past and I knew that the gold just matched my skin tone really well and that the silver didn't. So I was ready to pay the extra price for an 18 karat gold watch. So yeah, I tried it on and I also tried on the Panther watch. I'll put up some photos if I have them. And yeah, this was the watch that really made my heart sing. Like there was no other watch that could compete with it on top of the rich history of the brand and of this specific style, I I think that that is just my vibe, which is like classic and timeless and not really trendy. I felt that the Panther is on the trendier side, although I do think that it is a very beautiful watch. But for me, I think this is the one. I was a little bit like, oh man, I really love this watch. Like if I just love the Panther, it's actually like, $3,000 or $4,000 less than this. But because I love this one, it was the most expensive 
option that I really liked. And yeah, I, I guess I just needed to like bite the bullet. So yeah, I was trying it on and in my heart, in my mind, I already knew that this was it. As I was trying the watches on, I noticed that the price tag on this said 13,700. When I initially tried this on in the summer of 2022, I believe it was $11,900. And then I quickly checked on my phone and for whatever reason, like I couldn't find this specific style on the website. I had called customer service a few hours later just to ask why that was. And actually the reason why is because they're not able to ship within Canada because of the alligator strap like this. There's some rules and regulations that does not allow Cartier to sell or ship out the Cartier Tank Louis with this specific strap because of this alligator skin. It's not discontinued in Canada. You can still find it in boutiques. You can find it in the US, you can find it in Paris, but they're just not able to sell it online is what the girl on the phone told me. So I knew that if I wanted this watch, I had to get it in the boutiques. So I asked my SA and she actually told me that there was a price increase happening literally the next day on April 18th. And this specific watch was going to go up by 8%. So at the time when I was at the boutique, which was the Monday, April 17th, it was $12,900. The next day, literally on the Tuesday, it would turn into $13,700. And I was like, oh my God, I, I'm already like almost priced out of this watch. And now it's going to go up by 8% more. I don't even know if I can swallow that. Like it's already so difficult for me to swallow the current price of like 12,800. And now I'll have to pay a thousand dollars more just to get this watch. And I knew in that moment that if I wanted to get this, I had to get it in that boutique that day. Like I couldn't even wait for Paris because it is a worldwide price increase and it's not going to be any cheaper in Paris. Like I'm still going to pay more money. So I think it was a little bit of like luck and a little bit of like it was meant to be for me to be running errands at that time I needed to kill a few hours and the boutique having an essay who could help me in that moment when in the past I wouldn't be able to even like get an appointment with them so it all kind of felt like it was meant to be but also it was still so much money to just like walk into a store and be like okay here's my credit card so I told the essay hey I actually have a yoga class in a couple minutes which is just across the street and that was true can I come back for this watch before you guys close so I wanted to kind of like think about it a little bit more, but I still needed to come back that same day to purchase it if I wanted to. And she said, yep, that's totally fine. We have three of these. And she didn't think that they were going to sell out. So I walked away from the boutique and my entire yoga class, all I thought about was that I needed that watch. Like there was not even a doubt in my mind that I needed to go back and get the watch. I just needed to like breathe and think and make sure that I wasn't being too impulsive. So I did my yoga class and I was not present in that yoga class at all. I was just thinking about the watch. So I ended up going back to the boutique and I made eye contact with my essay. She was helping someone else. And then when she had time, she had escorted me into this private room. I was actually able to choose from the three watches that they had in stock and pick out the one that was the newest one or the one that didn't have as many flaws. As you can kind of tell, the alligator strap will differ for every single person. Like it's not gonna be this, the same. So I picked out the one that I felt like was the best for me. That was the experience. I do not regret it to this day. This is my 30th birthday watch and I will be wearing it forever and ever and ever. Like I do not regret it at all. This is my forever watch. I don't think I will ever sell this watch. It's something that I'm going to wear every single day and I'm going to love and cherish and just remember that I worked so hard to save up for this watch and now I have it and it's always just going to be a reminder that anything that I set my mind to I can achieve. Yeah I think when I was younger I definitely didn't 
think that I could ever own a watch like this, mainly because of the price tag, but I've been working really hard over the last three to four years and saving up, and now I'm able to spend guilt-free on something that I really, really love, and yeah, it's just, it's just such a special piece, and I can't wait to pass this along. It's going to be a, like, family heirloom, but for now, I'm going to be wearing it and enjoying it and loving it, so yeah. Please welcome the newest addition to the collection. It is the Cartier Tank. Louis, I'll give you one more look at it. Please let me know down below what you think about the watch. And wherever you are, I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye, you guys.